Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how I painted this blue forest upside down using turquoise, phthalo blue, titanium white, and Mars black. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm acrylic artist Joni Young and today I am showing you how I painted this completely upside down and it's something I've never done before. I just did this painting from completely out of my head. I'm showing you guys what it turned out like. Uh, I see a lot of mistakes in it, but overall I think it still turned out pretty good and it's still pretty. Um, I think I would like to try it again, maybe in a few different colors. And I think it's just really good for you to try different things. You just don't know what you'll discover when you try something new. So it was kind of fun. And I challenge you guys too. Starting today, I'll challenge you guys to do a painting completely upside down. Um, you definitely can use a reference photo. That's totally fine. Um, or you can just use your imagination like I did. You can still learn a lot of techniques by watching me paint this upside down or you can just watch it for entertainment. <laughs> Let me know what you guys thought of this painting. and I'll have a full list of all the supplies, the brushes and the colors we're using today and a size canvas in the description below as well as links to um, a playlist of more brightly colored fantasy type tutorials and garden scenes for you guys. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more weekly art inspiration. Okay, so today we're working on an 18 by 24 primed black canvas. Using a large blending brush, I'm gonna take white and turquoise, mix them up, and start pulling diagonally in the center. I'm going to just pick up a little bit of water now and then pull in some more turquoise and a little bit of the phthalo blue and loosen that paint up a little bit and start pulling from the edge of the canvas and softly blending it in. I want to create a light hazy background. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit more of those two colors and start blending along the right side. And you can do this anyway, it doesn't matter. We just want to make sure that the center where the archway is going to be is going to be the brightest. Now I'm going to take a little bit more blue and go pull under like the letter U. And that will be our archway. And now I'm going to attempt to paint some stairs. Now I know further away they're going to be shorter. So I'm going to start them short inside that archway and then make longer and wider ones towards the bottom of the canvas, which is the top right now, which is confusing. <laughs> okay, let's take some more of that turquoise, go to both sides, and let's start trying to tap in some foliage. And we'll start adding some drippy trees. This was probably the easiest part of the whole painting. So we really want to loosen that paint up with water and then push and let all those drips just flow down forming our tree trunks. I'm going to switch over to my lovely mop brush here and tap into that blue, just a little bit of the turquoise and start building up some bushes and plants and flowers along the staircase. Working on a black primed canvas is so much fun. I love the way the colors really pop out. I was inspired to do this by watching Bob Ross over the years. I always loved it when he worked on a black canvas. Just gonna keep taking more and more of that phthalo blue and tapping all around wherever I wanna have foliage and vines and flowers. I'm 
Okay, so now I've got that base color down, I need to add a highlight. So I'm going to take a little bit of white and a little bit of turquoise, mix it up with the blue that's on my brush, and start tapping lightly where the highlights would fall. Making sure I don't lose that shadow that should be underneath each of them. And we'll do just a little bit on the other side and then pull and flick. Now I think I need some more trees on this side, so I'm actually just going to use this brush and release the rest of the paint that's in it by adding some water and let that flow down. And now I'm getting out my Mars Black and my large flat brush. And I know that when I paint stairs, I always have a really dark shadow in between each of those uh, light highlights. So I'm just going to, that one ended up looking crooked, so I'm going to try and fix that. And that add a little bit more going off into the distance of this archway. And I know that there's going to be some shadows underneath these plants. So I'm taking my smallest mop brush, tapping into the turquoise now and maybe adding a few smaller leaves and flowers and highlights all the way up. Reload my brush and add a little bit more. I love adding this turquoise into my forest paintings and my fantasy paintings. It just gives that really soft minty glow that's so so nice. And then we've got this beautiful rich thalo that always looks nice with turquoises and purples and pinks. So I'm going to build up some foliage back here. Now I want to bring some more little leaves and stuff growing across these stairs or just on the either side of them. I love the way that looks. So I'm going to try and do this carefully, adding bits of turquoise for highlights and phthalo blue for the shadow on the bottom using my smallest mop brush still. And then a little bit of white mixed in with the turquoise for the brightest highlights. Then I tap and pull for hanging vines. Okay, I'm going to take more of that phthalo blue and just dust along the bottom step here, making it look a little bit longer and have a little bit more shadow. I'm going to mix a bit of black with it now. I like those types of paintings where I feel like I can walk right into them. So in order to do that I have to make this bottom step a little bit longer and darker. Back to my flat brush, turquoise and white. I want it on the very end of my brush. I'm going to try and add some highlights to the tops of these steps. Painting these steps was probably the trickiest part of doing this whole painting. Try, just trying to get that perspective I found a little bit challenging and difficult. Now I want to put some big Bob Ross types of trees in here, so I'm going to start tapping with my largest fan brush using turquoise and phthalo blue. And I'm going to pull and drag down, pulling some branches. Adding a little bit of a highlight here and then wiggling. Mixing those two colors up again. 
pull another tree trunk right down in here. I want this one to look like it's got some moss down at the bottom and possibly growing up. So I'm going to pull and twist around that tree trunk, giving it just a little bit more of an interesting fantasy type of look to it. And let's tap some leaves along these branches. Increasing that phthalo blue. Getting a lot of water. Mixing that up. We're going to add some more layers of tree trunks. We'll go around from this side and add some more. So it's very messy when we're doing this method of painting. So make sure that you have a drip towel or tray or cloth underneath your easel or your canvas. I'm going to switch over to another mop brush and just soften this highlight, make it look foggy or misty. And then we'll take some more, tap in lightly here. Some of these plants are around, growing up and around this archway. And then we'll soften the base of this tree a little bit. Tapping the paint that's on there and then adding a little bit of that phthalo blue. Let's add some more bushes now using some turquoise. Let's really start to build up this forest and garden. And we'll build up more of that phthalo. Wash our brush, go over back to our large fan and begin our tree on this side. So we're doing small taps for the top, which is at the bottom right now. And then we're going to make them wider as they get down to the bottom. So we'll top tap that brush almost all the way down to the bottom and then I'm going to come in with some phthalo blue on the left side of them for some shadow. And we'll tap in, maybe there's a, a leaning branch that comes out right here. Okay, let's start painting the tree over here now. Smallest to biggest for all those branches using some turquoise and then picking up a little bit of phthalo as it gets down towards the center halfway. Tapping side to side using the full width of your brush almost right down to the bottom. More phthalo. And we'll add another one next to it. Now I'm going to attempt to paint 
delphiniums. So I'm using the corner of my brush and a little bit of white and turquoise and just tapping lots of little dots and dabs on an angle to make skinny little stalks of delphinium flowers. I'm going to take a little bit more turquoise and tap very lightly and carefully right next to this phthalo blue and then pick up a little bit of white and tap softly for a nice bright highlight. I'm going to switch over to my little flat brush and take some watered down white and turquoise and I'm going to pull in some more sun rays. So I'm just going to line it up right next to that foliage on the side of the archway and pull and flick. And then I'm going to soften. I'll add a little bit more turquoise first. And then I'm just softening them, blending them up a little bit. And then I'll add more color, some blue, and it's very kind of watered down so that it's see-through when I apply it and it just looks transparent, very hazy-like. So a little bit of blue here, just to break up the black. I don't want it to be all black in there. I want to add some softer tones. Okay, another mop brush. Blue. I'm going to start adding a layer over now that those plants are fairly dry underneath. I can build up some nice shadow and rich blues now. Now without washing my brush, I'm going to pick up turquoise, load the bottom of my brush really evenly, and tap lightly, and just build up all of this foliage. Some more blue. I'm going to balance this out a little bit. If it's too bright, you just go back for some more blue and tap over it. Right, I've got my long liner brush now. I'm gonna get it really wet and then roll it in between that turquoise with a little bit of phthalo blue and tap in some fine little details here. Pull and wiggle for little vines and little leaves. And we can have some darker ones that are in shadow with the phthalo blue. Back to my large flat brush. I just want to make this highlight on this step and that bottom one a little bit thicker. And then right here I thought, what if I just pulled over right across the bottom? What if that was water down there? Give it a really dreamy look, I thought, so I just wanted to try that. I'm not sure if I'll, I'll leave it like that, but we'll see. Back to a small, my smallest mop brush. I'm going to tap in a few little, little bushes right here. 
and on the other side. I think that looks really pretty, but now I want to build up some more contrast, so I'm taking my long liner brush, some water, and Mars Black. I'm going to pull and wiggle, really wiggle, and kind of almost shake my hand so that I get all this, these neat crooked types of branches. And I'm going to try to make it look like they're curved over and around above that archway. I'm not going to pull right over top of those bushes because I want it to look like this little black tree is in and behind them. So it'll look kind of 3D, like there's thing, there's bushes behind it and bushes in front of it. And I'll just continue to pick up more water and paint and build up all the little branches. Make it a little bit thicker down here. Now maybe we'll have just a little fence or railing right here on this one side. So I'm going to start with the ones that are going to be closest to us at the top and they're going to be a little thicker and a little bit longer. And as they get farther away in the center where the archway is, they're going to be shorter and closer together and just disappear. Wash my brush out and pick up turquoise and let's add a highlight on the left side of each of them. Now if you keep pulling in black paint when you're doing this, wipe the excess off or wash it off in between picking up the turquoise for your highlight. I'm just going to take a large blending brush and tap and soften at the bottom of this painting. Have a little bit of foliage right here, making it look like some of these fence posts are surrounded by little bushes and leaves. Otherwise it can sometimes look like they're just floating there, so we need to build up some stuff around them. Taking some phthalo now, and I'll tap in for shadow and pull, soften. Wash my brush off and pull some of that paint and scumble around, giving it a really sort of a soft, blurry look almost. And then tap lightly for a bit of foreground. And just soften off the inside of that archway and those little fence posts. Now I'm taking my long liner brush again, picking up a little bit of the white and putting a final highlight on these. And then I'm going to add a few little dabs of turquoise and white for some leaves back here. So just tap, tap, tap. Little dabs.
I'll take some phthalo. Add a few more little vines over here. Okay, time to take my large blending mop type of brush, stipple lightly for some foliage on the top of this tree. And I'm using this one instead of the other mop brushes because this one has a, it's a little bit stiffer and it will give a bit of a different effect to our bushes. So remember when painting a garden or well, any landscape with foliage and trees, you want to change your brushes up so you don't have the exact same trees and bushes everywhere. You want to have different types of leaves and using different brushes will give you that effect. So I'm going to tap in and mix up some more blue. Okay, now I think it will look nice to take my liner brush with water and white and just pull and flick some delicate looking little tree trunks here and little branches, very wispy, just using the tip of your liner brush. Make sure you have a little bit of water there to help all of that paint flow out nicely. And we'll just do a few little lines here for the tops of our stairs that are going to have more of a highlight on them. I think this might look really pretty once we're all finished and we turn it right side up. I think we've got some really nice light and shadow going on anyways and the colors are really pretty. I don't know how accurate the stairs are going to look but it's really interesting so far. I'm very curious to see. We're almost there. Got a few more little details. A little bit of a highlight maybe to this black tree over here. Maybe the light's just going to be hitting it a little bit right here. Not every single branch, but just a few of these main guys. Okay, I think that looks good. I think I may be ready to turn this over. Let's see how it looks. Okay, here we go. I'm kind of nervous. Let's see how it turned out. Oh, I actually really like it. What do you guys think? There are a few mistakes in it, but overall I think it turned out pretty good. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Give this video a like, and don't forget to hit subscribe for more weekly free art inspiration. Happy painting you guys, and I'll see you next time.